yeah so today we will be covering types of attacks so the first type of attack is teardrop attack so this is the type of attack where you can see the attacker may send the large number of data packets break them into multiple fragments for the targeted systems to reassemble the attacker send the countless packet into and the data fragments to the network when the networks try to recompile the fragment into their original packet they are unable to do it so i'll take the example okay and i'll show you so let's say this is the packet so you must be aware that layer 2 layer 3 layer 4 layer 4 is called segment layer a 2 is called data link layer okay which is called frame correct so we are talking about layer 3 so the maximum size of packet is 65535 bytes and the minimum size is 20 bytes so these are the maximum size and minimum size of the packet so let's take the example as this is the sender okay and this is the receiver so when sender tries to send the packet to the receiver and let's take an example that the size of the packet is 65535 byte so the sender cannot able to send to the receiver in one go about this number of bytes so what it will do is it will just break the packets into small chunks and they started moving from the sender towards the receiver and they also have the sequence number so sequence number you already aware that what sequence number helps them out which is also called offset the packets and they are moving from sender towards the receiver once it reaches to the receiver the receiver reassembles it and tries to check the checksum value if the checksum value matches means that no one has modified the packet the packet is completely perfect now what attacker do is that the attacker changes the maximum size of the packet to highest size so what happen is that when it breaks into the chucks and when it's sent to the receiver and the receiver when reassembles it using offset they unable to do so why because the memory is overflow so they cannot proceed the packet it will be in hung state okay so why this is because it breaches the actual size of the packet so this type of attack is called ping to death where the attacker tries to modify the packet to the highest size and started sending it to the receiver once it reaches to the receiver the receiver try to reassemble it but cannot do it because the memory has overflow now we can see how we can mitigate it okay so the mitigation the resolution which is provided is that the packet should check before it it send to the receiver so they should check the maximum size of the packet okay if the maximum size breaches then the packet cannot be forwarded to the receiver so this is the only way to mitigate ping to death which is the exact name of this type of DOS attack okay which comes under teardrop attacks now the second type of attack is flooding attack so a flooding attack is a DOS attack that sends multiple connection requests to the server but does not respond to the complete handshake now let's start with this so the attack is flooding attack 
okay so flooding attack is the tcp sin flood attack okay so let's start with it okay so under tcp sin flood attack let's start with tcp three hand check so you must be aware that which is having sin okay so the sender first send to the receiver first send the sin packet okay the receiver receives it and reverted sin plus hack and then sender send acknowledgement when this is done the three way handshake is done between the client and the server and they started exchanging the data correct so what the attacker do is here is that let's take this as attacker and let's take it as web server so what the attacker do is that the attacker first send a sin packet correct and under sin packet the attacker add any spoof IP address so when the server reverted back with sin plus ek okay the IP address is the spoofed one means the destination address which is provided by the attacker is completely different so this particular sin plus ek reaches to any other location so it 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 is not reaching to the exact legit user so the legit user cannot be able to send the acknowledgement okay acknowledgement is not possible because the ip address which is sent set by the attacker is a different one due to which which is called half open connection so half open connection where the three way handshake cannot be set up so the packet will be dropped so when the packet will be dropped okay and under all web servers there is a memory which is called buffer memory okay so buffer memory is basically a memory that stored the connection okay that has established whatever connections or whatever users or host that tries to make a connection with a server so there is a memory allocated towards it memory is filled with half open connections okay and it is completely filled so when your legit user try to connect to the web server the memory seems to be full and cannot able to establish the connection the your connection will be dropped okay so all those legit users who try to act who try to make a connection with the server the connection will be dropped okay now we can see that how we can mitigate it yeah, so we see mitigation the first solution is sin cookies so under sin cookie when the client initiate the connection with the server with a sin okay what server will do is that the server encrypt okay, by adding the sequence number in the sin plus act so for example this is the client and this is the server so for the first the client sends sync okay sin bit what the server do is that the server will encrypt it okay and when the server reverted back with sin plus act it will also add the sequence number and the sequence number i'll give you the brief about it that the sequence number contains three things one is time span then maximum segment size that what what size of each segment will be delivered and third one is secret key so 
I will tell you this that the secret key so the secret key contains server IP address then server port number okay then the client IP address the client who initiate the connection and client port number and these all information are of 24 bits so this is the information the maximum segment size is 3 bits okay and time span is 5 bits the total is 32 bits okay 24 plus 8 is 32 so it's all 32 bit information okay which is sent by the server towards the client and when the client reverted back when a client reverted back with acknowledgement okay it will send sequence number plus one so what it does is that when a final acknowledgement is received from the client what server will do is that the server server removes a sequence number and it matches these three things time span maximum segment size and the secret key so once the server found out that these three are matching then the connection will be established if they saw that this has been having modified between the client and the server so the server will not going to establish the connection so this is called sin cookies some people you can also see that name the sequence number as value n or x or like that okay it's all up to this like way of teaching there are also many other step that you can mitigate it okay the second one is rate limiting so under rate limiting the number of request that has been sent on the server should be limited and cannot be breaches the limit so the request which is sent to the server okay will be calculated that how much number of request can be sent okay in particular per second so with the help of that we can also minimize it and we can rate the limit then also there is an option of firewall filtering that under firewall you can also add certain limitations we can create the policy about sin flooding that if from this particular user if you receive the number of packets uh, then we should add the policy that how we can uh, we can create a firewall policy that what action needs to be done either we can drop the packet okay or we can generate a log okay so that we can take action out of it okay so this is called sin flooding okay and which comes under flooding attack